These are some gel beads from Shermery, C-H-E-R-M-O-R-Y. This is two 60,000 gel bead hoppers. So they're full. Each one's full of 60,000, so 120,000 gel beads, which is a lot of gel beads. And they come in these hoppers. So if you have a top-loading gel blaster already, you have some extra hoppers now, which is nice because these uh, hoppers can occasionally break just from normal gameplay, and it's always nice to have extra ones anyway so you can carry another full hopper of gel balls with you if you're out and about playing. So let's talk a little bit about how to prepare these, okay? Soaking them is uh, for the right amount of time and with the right amount of water is what's really gonna make them work properly. They need to get to seven to eight millimeters, and in order to do that, you need to use plenty of water and you need to make sure you use a big enough container and soak them long enough. They need to soak four to six hours. Uh, I, a lot of times, soak them overnight, but four to six hours is adequate. So let's talk about how I do it. Now, if you do have an empty hopper, one hopper like this can hold, basically, if you take one teaspoon of gel beads, put it into a hopper, fill it up with water, that's about right. Now, that's not a perfect um, measurement, but that's about right. So one teaspoon can fill that up, and then you're good. Uh, fill it up with water. However, I'm usually making more gel balls than that. Obviously, these are full anyway, so I use little Tupperware containers like this. Um, they're just left over from lunch meat, actually. So this container can use, usually you can do about four teaspoons in this container and then um, about a liter of water. So that's what I'm going to show you. So I actually have a little teaspoon measurement here and a little funnel that I occasionally use for putting the gel balls back in the hopper once they're ready. So here's what I'm going to do. Just go ahead and I'm going to just take this and we'll basically pour four teaspoons in here, right? So you see you got the green ones and the multicolored ones. And of course, once they're soaked, they become more translucent, but they'll still definitely be green. Okay, so we got four teaspoons there. So that gives you an idea of what four teaspoons looks like when it's in a container like that. And like I said, just one teaspoon if you have an empty hopper and you're gonna fill the hopper with water and one teaspoon of gel beads. So got a liter of water here. Obviously you don't need to use bottled water. This is just easiest to do for this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in here and then I'm gonna let them soak for four to six hours. So. Just gonna put the lid on there and let them soak. So if you're soaking your gel beads and when you come to them after four to six hours and there's no water in there at all, then you probably didn't use enough or you didn't use a big enough container. You need to make sure that there's, uh, there pretty much should be some extra water because unless you guess perfectly, there's always some extra water, right? Because uh, if they've absorbed all the water, they're probably not quite big enough. If they're not to that seven to eight millimeters, then they won't function properly in your gel blaster. So plenty of water, big enough container, four to six hours. I'm gonna let them soak, and then I'll start another video I'll combine with this where you're gonna to get to see them after they're all soaked and ready to go. These gel beads from Shermery have soaked overnight. As I showed you earlier, I did four teaspoons in this container and a liter of water. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there still is a little bit of water at the bottom of this. So that's how I know that they're definitely big enough. So what I'm going to want to do is just take them now and strain them and put them into a hopper for a gel blaster. So if you do have a little strainer handy, you certainly can strain all of them at once. However, you don't necessarily need a strainer just by actually, you know, kind of picking them up by your hand, kind of shaking them like that and funneling them in. You'll actually get enough of the water out of them that it'll be okay. So just go ahead and fill up your hopper and then you're ready to use it with your gel blaster. Um, make sure that you don't ever store the hopper on your gel blaster when it's full of gel balls because over time they will start to kind of, the water will start to evaporate, the gel balls will break down and then the water also kind of drip into the gel blaster which isn't good for it but the gel balls will also become very fragile and more likely to kind of break up and cause problems with your gel blaster. 
if you take your little hopper off like this and seal it up with a lid, it the gel balls, in my experience, have lasted for, you know, up to a couple weeks as long as they're in an airtight container. And then what will happen is you'll just kind of notice when you're using them that they're just kind of exploding upon coming out of the barrel. And if that happens, that just means that it's time to get rid of them, that they're too old. All right, so again, Shermery gel beads. It's a nice video. It shows you exactly how to soak them properly to get them to the right size.